okay y'all apple tv 4k is it worth it i'm gonna let you know right now in this video let's go <laughs> So let's get right to it. Apple 4K TV, I got the 32 gigabyte model. There's two versions. There's a 32 gigabyte model, there's a 64 gigabyte model. This retails for 179 and the 64 gig retails for 199, all right? So basically a $20 difference for twice as much gigabyte space. I personally don't really care for the 64 versus the third. I mean, I don't really, if you're streaming most of the time anyway, nothing's really being saved on this device. It's really if you're into games. So if you're the type of person who likes, cause, cause you, you do have access to the app store, which has a whole bunch of games. If you're that type of person, um, then yeah, it may, it may behoove you to get the 64 gigabyte. Me, could care less. What comes in the box? Very straightforward. You got the Apple TV. It comes with the remote and it comes with the, with the adapter. You will have to buy your own HDMI cord. All right, all HDMI cords are not the same, people. You have some HDMIs that are specific for 4K. You have some HDMIs that are just, you know, 1080p. So make sure that you get the right HDMI cord. They do sell it at the Apple Store if you decide to pick it up from the Apple Store. But if you have some 4K um, cables already lying around the house, you'll be able to use that. What's on the end of this? This does not come with the remote. Um, I actually purchased this um, separately, which you know, attaches right to the bottom and you know, it goes right over your hand. So now let's get to the, let's get to the nitty gritty. Who is this for? Okay. This is for that person who has a 4k, specifically a 4k HDR is, is, I mean, highly recommended. If you have a 4k HDR TV, specifically 55 inches or more, it is worth it for you to get this Apple TV. Now, prior to me getting this Apple TV 4K, I had the um, Amazon Fire TV. Now, the Amazon Fire TV is a great device. It's way cheaper than what you'll pay for the Apple TV, but it there is a big difference. Okay, the main reason for me for getting the Apple for the, for me getting the Amazon Fire TV was because um, I do have Amazon Prime, so they do allow you to to watch um, some Amazon Prime shows and movies that they also create, kind of like what Netflix does. Um, and also, I was able to load a program on there called Kodi. Now, for those of you who don't know what Kodi is, Kodi is a program that allows you to watch basically any TV show, um, any movies, okay? You can watch sports, um, live TV, um, I mean, that's the wave right now. Like, if you really don't know what Cody is, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, Google it. But Cody is definitely, like, that's that's the game changer. Um, for me, you know, cable is really, really expensive, um, especially when you have shows like Showtime, all the premium shows, HBO, pay-per-views, you know, Cinemax, all these shows, you know, your cable bill will run you close to $200. So for me, I like to keep my basic cable um, I rather spend more on my internet, make sure that I have a fast internet speed, and I basically would use the Kodi to follow up on any shows that I don't have that's included in my cable bill, like I, that I don't that I choose to exclude. So that's how I use it. Most people use it as their dedicated TV. Um, I don't know if I, I could have it dedicated, like because you know Kodi does have its hiccups here and there. But if you are trying to cut down on your bill and take off some premium channels, you need to get that Kodi. So. My hesitation was, is Cody available on the Apple TV, right? Because Apple TV is known, Apple is known for having like a very closed source um, type of programming. You know, they don't let you customize things, kind of like how Google does. They let you customize. So come to find out, I've had this for the last couple of days and I found the link, which I'm going to put in my description of somebody who just explains it extremely well. Um, I followed every single step. It was easy to follow in under 20 minutes or so You're gonna have Cody on the Apple TV and that is just a big big bonus because that was really what was keeping me attached to the Amazon Basically if you are 
into the Apple ecosystem, okay? Like myself, I have an iPhone, I have an iPad, I have a MacBook, um, I have Apple Music, you know, which is basically, you know, there's various versions. Google has Google Music, Amazon has Amazon Music. Basically, um, it's kind of like Tidal, you know, you, you, Tidal, there's a bunch of them, Pandora. Basically, Apple Music is, you know, you pay every single month and you're able to basically listen to albums, um, unlimited music, playlists, etc. right? So if you have that, then the Apple TV is your key to being able to listen to that through your TV, through your speakers, because you can't do that on an Amazon Fire TV. You can't do that on a Roku. You can't do that on other Google set-top boxes. Um, so that was one of my main reasons as well, is like I, I have access to these things. So if you have Apple Music, definitely. If you're somebody who purchases um, movies online, you know, um, through, through Apple, you definitely wanna get this. Now, I know what you're thinking, like why, like, why do people do that? And I used to say the same thing. Like, why, what's with the streaming? Let me tell you something. I'll equate it to this. We are in an age where everybody digitally downloads their music, right? Nobody really buys CDs anymore. That's like a collector's item. So when I look at 4K and you basically, if you have the same price, if not a lot of times, the digital download could be cheaper. It just keeps you from having to stack up a bunch of DVDs in your house because everything is just already there. It's, it's online. So you can just click on the movie and boom, it's going to play. So for me, I feel like that's, that's the direction that, we, that we, we've gone with music. It's going to be the same thing with movies. A lot of movies are coming out in 4K, 4K HDR, which HDR just means that, you know, high dynamic range. So the blacks are going to be blacker. The greens are going to be greener. Um, it's going to be brighter where it needs to be bright and it's going to be deeper and darker where it needs to be deeper and darker. So that's really what HDR means. But keep in mind, your TV has to be capable of it in order to be able to take advantage of those capabilities. Um, also, the apps, you know, listen, there's no surprise that Apple gets the best apps. They usually get the apps first. They have the biggest library. Um, you're able to download apps. Obviously, you know, you have your Fox, your HBO and your Netflix and all of that. Those stuff is standard across the board. But there are certain apps that are on here that you won't find on, you know, Amazon and all these other um, types of devices as well. Uh, for example, I downloaded Facebook video, um, you know, the capabilities of the ESPN. You're able to have picture in picture where you can watch multiple things at once. These are all things that Apple works with these developers to make sure that um, those apps on their ecosystem runs better than it would on other platforms. Also, what I like, um, what they changed is the remote. They made the menu button, okay? It's, it's, it's pretty rigid, so this way at night or, you know, you know what you're feeling. Um, I also like the fact that it has the value up, up and down because it does, see what I like is, everything just works. You know, you point it at your device and it can automatically, if you have like a speaker set or anything like that, it'll control the volume on there. Couldn't do that. On Amazon, there's no volume button, as you can see. So that's a, I like that. Obviously you have the button here for Siri, which um, Siri, you can ask it whatever. Um, it's gonna pop up on your TV. You can search for movies um, and it'll go cross platform. So if the movie's in Netflix, it'll open up Netflix. If it's in iTunes, it'll give you the option to open it up where you wanna open it up. So um, very, very impressed with it right now. Um, like I said, you know, I, I purchased a couple movies just to see how it looks, and it just looks phenomenal on screen. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys that, you know, it's, it's probably worth picking up if you have, again, a really nice TV, 4K, HDR, and if you're already into the Apple ecosystem, I think it's a no-brainer. Um, you're able to play your music through it. Um, obviously, you could do a lot of mirroring, so if you have a laptop, um, that's Apple as well. You can mirror what's on there on your on your TV. Um, same thing with your phone. Everything just works together. It's definitely well worth it. Well worth it. I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. Leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know you know if you have any questions about it. Um, and I guess I you know what? Let me show you a couple things on here real quick. All right. Let me show you real quick. Here's my TV screen. As you can see, it's a couple apps on there. Um, that I got, I got the uh, CW, BET app, um, you know, NBA, NFL, obviously, you know, you'll log into your, your cable provider and then you'll be able to watch those on there. YouTube, almost forgot to bring that up. 
I know a lot of people complaining about the fact that the YouTube app um, isn't um, 4K compatible, um, which again, that's as simple as an upgrade. Like that's gonna happen. Listen, I have YouTube on my PlayStation, my Xbox, my TV. It's a smart TV, it's on there. Um, it's not a big deal. You know, I could play it in different ways. The Amazon t Fire TV, I'm able to do it. It's, 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 it's not a big deal. If you do have a smart TV, guys, if you don't have, if you're not into like the Apple ecosystem, you don't have Apple Music, you don't purchase videos, um, uh, TV shows or movies, then you know you're not you, you don't get into the apps you're not into then you don't need this like you don't because a lot of everything on here you can find um on your smart tv especially if you have a smart tv you can see here podcasts you know let me, let me click on that real quick so you see these are some of the podcasts that i have on here right oh wait who's that guy Oh, oh, how at me. Make sure you follow on that podcast. I am me back up. Okay, so let me get out of there. So you see you have that. You have your photos. You have your music. Like I mentioned, there goes the Cody right there, as you can see. Okay, so let me click on the Cody real fast. All right, so you can see TV shows. So you see the Cody's running. It's all good. So again, I'm gonna leave the link down below to the video that I watched on here. Big shout out to him um, for, for giving out those instructions. So again, if nothing else guys, get the Apple TV, slap the Cody on there. Psst, you can watch whatever you want, all right? It's your boy, Bill for anything. Thank you for watching. Shout out to all the new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out, peace.